Do you know who is the biggest investor in the biotech field in India? The name of that venture capitalist is Government of India. Yes, you heard me right. Government of India invests billions of dollars in the biotech industry through BIRAC, BITP, DBT, ARS and a lot of other organizations like ICMR, CSIR. They invest a lot of money in the biotech sector. And that means you, yes, you can get a stable biotech job or career in the government of India. But now the question is how to get it and what kind of jobs you can get there. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. I'm going to give you broad classification of various types of jobs you can get. And at the end, we'll conclude with some insights. Okay, so don't forget to watch this video till the end. And any questions you have, please put them down in the comment section. I'll try to answer that. Okay, starting with the first point. Government agreed that is the biggest investor in the biotech sector also is notorious. Okay, and they are notorious to change the rules. And once the government changes the rules, you can't, you know, go back and change it back. So, you know, whatever they change, done. So one caution for anybody and everybody, whoever wants to pursue a government job in India is, please have the highest degree which you can do or afford. Why I'm saying so because Today you, are, you start your government job as a bachelor's or a master's and later on they change the rule and they say no only PhD is mandatory. You are like okay I don't have it now at the age of 40 you can't go back and do PhD right. So it is always better to enter into the government job with the highest qualification which is available. That's the first insight I want to give you. Now let me broadly classify types of government jobs you can get. The first one which you have is obviously academia. Okay, academia means professors and lecturer, assistant professor, lecturer, all this in universities. The second is scientist positions, scientist A, B, C, S, D, whatever. So that is the scientist positions. And the third is Kendriya Vidyalayas and various school positions. Okay, so school, you can apply as a teacher in the school. So these are the three broadly you can classify. Now let us look at the first one, which is assistant professor or professor position. And now that, that is basically we call it as academia. So when you want to get into academia, government has some prescribed rules which you cannot deny, you cannot change, you cannot challenge. Okay, you cannot deny, you cannot change, you cannot challenge. Remember that whenever you want to get into academia, the first thing you have to do is you have to have the highest degree, which is PhD. Okay, and that also you should qualify CSIR net if you want to get into any central university, which obviously you want to. Now, once you have your PhD, make sure while you're doing your PhD, keep looking for op openings, opportunities and vacancies, which is happening. Network with the right kind of individuals and then get in there. Okay. And occasionally, like once in three years, you will get vacancies coming up in every uh, university. It will keep coming and you can have all of that because you can't keep a tab of all the universities. You can just keep checking Biotechnica. That is where all these government jobs will come. So that is the academia job. Now, Whenever you are pursuing the academia job in government, of course, the private sector is also open. If in case you are waiting for a vacancy in the government and it is not coming, in the meanwhile, you can do the private job, gain experience so that when you apply in the government, your experience will be counted. So that's something which you should know. So while you are waiting for the government job vacancy to come, you can work in private to gain the experience, relevant experience for the government job. The second one is research positions. Now, research positions is in various labs, various organizations, for example, BARC, for example, uh, TIFR, NCBS, you have IASC or uh, all the CSIR labs you have, CDRI, CDFD, NII, NIH, so all the labs basically, right? And then, uh, so you can, you have to, to get in there, first you have to qualify CSIR net with a JRF, do your PhD, and then uh, again, relevant experience in research, maybe a postdoc if required, and then you have to keep looking for the openings which keeps coming on Biotechnica, apply and go for the interview, get selected. That's how you get the job in these government sector. Now, there are various entrance exams like CSIR, you have ARS net, that is for Agriculture Recruitment um, Research Board, so a ARSSRB, then you have SERB, then you have uh, various other organizations where you can apply. DBT also keeps coming with a lot of uh, vacancies where you can apply. So these are uh, positions. Now, one word of caution for all of you is, there are many times contractual positions which come in these organizations. You should always grab it if you can because 
that helps you build your network okay so many a times the government vacancies will not come as a public you know they will not announce but they will recruit from the contractual people only okay because they know someone okay you come that's how they do it so many a times even that can happen now i'm not saying that is favoritism it is just that if there is a vacancy they will recruit internally that's something which is a policy in private sector also and government sector also now coming to the next part which is a school teacher yeah you can always apply for a school teacher do your beard and you can do that and that's a comfortable job uh, especially preferred by people who want a very good work life balance you can always go for that also but that's not a core biotech job yeah biology you will be teaching as a teacher now there is one more type of vacancy which you guys should know and that is departmental ministerial jobs for example ministry of uh, biotechnology so department of biotechnology is there so they, there are various departments right ministry of uh, ecology ecol affairs and all that so you can apply there okay in the administrative positions in these ministries so even that is a kind of government job you can have and you know you can even get to a level where you become a principal scientific advisor to the government of india to the prime minister when you can get to that level also so uh, the government sector moves slow that is one thing you should know you need to have a lot of patience you need to keep waiting for the vacancies while you are waiting for the vacancies keep building your resume make sure you are having relevant experience relevant expertise uh, upskill reskill cross skill have certifications and these things will be helpful and remember that networking is the key okay so through linkedin or other places network with the, all the government officials who are in that particular department which is your target department and keep looking okay while you are waiting for the vacancy you can always go for some relevant job in the private sector also now one last thing which before before i end this uh, video i would like to conclude is government jobs are safe are lucrative are um, it seems easy but it's not but yeah it's easy it's it's ve uh, very um, honorable job to serve the country through the government of india but at the same time if you are not getting don't be frustrated private sector also is not bad it is equally competitive equally rewarding equally um, good and great and uh, you know you should keep both the options open instead of just targeting one so that you keep growing in your career in your life at so uh, the end of the day how much you learned is important how much you grew as a professional is important no matter what department you join or what uh, place you work for but yeah uh, this is this these are the pointers which i wanted to give today uh, about the government job biotech jobs available in india if you have any specific questions please put them down in the comment section or you can email me as always at shekhar@biotechnica.org most of the time i reply to the emails if in case you don't get a reply please wait otherwise just send me a reminder again definitely you'll get a reply so this is all about our today's topic which is uh, tips to get biotech government jobs in india i hope you enjoyed the video Let me know in the comment section whatever questions you have I would love to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then take care. Bye bye.